Hey there, Kaylin here, and thanks for joining me for another card video. Today I'm going to make another fall inspired card, and this one is a birthday card for anyone with a fall birthday. I thought that would be perfect. So I'm using some watercolors to make a beautiful watercolor background, and then we're gonna do some stamping, some embossing, and adding some die cuts to this to make the finished card. So right now I'm using my Gansai Tombi watercolor palette from Kurataki, and this is my absolute favorite watercolor palette. Everything you've heard about it is true, it's just the best of the best in my opinion. Um, the colors are just super vibrant and easy to blend and work with, so I absolutely love this. Right now I'm just taking some pinks, reds, oranges, and a little bit of yellow, and I'm just making some circles, basically connecting circles. Nothing really fancy or even planned out. I just thought um, some circular patterns would be nice and make a nice background. Um, I knew going into this that we were gonna be doing some stamping on top of it, so the background isn't necessarily the star of the show, but it's just gonna offer um, that beautiful watercolor look and give us the main colors in our card design. So my technique for building this background with the watercolors isn't really anything super technical. I'm really just placing water down in circular shapes on my watercolor paper and then dabbing my paint in there and just kind of blending it and adding more pink, adding more red until I make sure that I have some nice vibrant colors going on that really remind me of just the changing leaves of fall. Now that my circle design is mostly dry, I decided to come back in with some more paint, uh, mostly in yellows and oranges, and fill in some of the white gaps around the circles because I knew that I would be stamping over top of this and I didn't want any of that stamping to get lost in the white spaces. I knew I was going to emboss with white over top of this, so I wanted to make sure that pretty much everything at least had some wash of color on it. Now that I'm happy with my watercolor design and it's all dried, I'm just taking my Fiskars paper trimmer and cutting out that watercolored piece to be about four and a quarter by five and a half. A little smaller than that since I want it to um, fit just on my card base but leave a bit of a border around the edge. Now I'm taking the stamp set that I'll be using, which is the You've Been Framed Oval stamp set. And this is one from the Make It Market kits that Betsy Feldman designed. Um, I think it was one of the a la carte pieces, so you could buy it just as is. And I absolutely love this stamp set. I pretty much love anything Betsy touches, so um, this is no exception. It's just adorable and you could use it for, um, well, birthday cards for sure, but you could use the pieces for any other card as well. So I'm just stamping down that happy birthday sentiment. Um, beneath it, it says celebrating you today. And I stamped that down in some Versamark ink because I'm going to emboss this with, with some white embossing powder. Now I'm taking part of the oval with the floral design inlaid inside of it. And I'm going to stamp that down using the same exact steps, just inking it up with some Versamark and then using my white embossing powder to sprinkle over the top. Now just taking my heat gun and watching that magic happen, watch that embossing powder turn to liquid and harden. So um, this just gives you a really beautiful, crisp, bright white um, image and I love the way that it looks on that watercolor background. 
So now I'm taking a couple of other stamps in this set, um, just some pretty floral foliage that I'm going to stamp using this Hero Arts Raspberry Jam ink, one of my favorite colors that I thought coordinated really well with the color scheme here. So just going to stamp that above and below my focal point. Now taking some of the smaller flowers in the set that go nicely on either side of your oval design. So stamping one on the left and then one on the right. I decided to add a little bit of patterned paper to this. I just thought it needed a little something else. So I decided to take my Bloom paper pack from Crate Paper, just the six by six paper pack. And I really liked this yellow gingham. I thought it brought out the yellow in the watercolor design. So I decided to cut down my main watercolor panel and then I'm going to add that patterned paper behind it. Now that I have the basic structure of my card, I knew I wanted to top it off with a little bit more of a fall feel. So I love this die cut from Paper Smooches. It's the Foliage One die set. So it comes with two different types of leaf dies and um, I love those branches. So I die cut those out in white and I'm going to be adhering them down. Here I'm just taking a Copic marker in a red color and tried to go over that embossing powder uh, with a little bit of red ink since it was um, not showing up super well. I don't know if that really worked, but at least you can see the R and the A a little bit better. So now I'm just taking some Tombow Mono Multi Glue and adhering that to my leaf dies and then just placing them down on the card. I could have left the die cuts as is, but I decided that I wanted to trim them down so that they didn't go past uh, the main paper panel. So I kept trimming them until um, the edges just met right up with where the watercolor and the patterned paper meet. So that's going to finish up this fall birthday card. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And be sure to check out the supply list below this video as well as on my blog. And please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to catch my latest crafty videos.